Seriously though, why are we skipping out on the toy aisle for crafting at Dollar Tree? There are so many cool things you can get there to craft with. Hey bestie, Lisa here, and if you want to craft your best life with me, let's get started. For this Dollar Tree toy hack, I'm going to use these ping pong balls, and then I'm going to take the smaller of these wire wreaths that you can get at the Dollar Tree. I've got these roses, also from the Dollar Tree. And then I've got my Ballet Slipper Waverly paint. I'm gonna use some masking tape and attach it to my table so that I can stick the little balls on there, the ping pong balls. And I'm just gonna start painting in sections with the Ballet Slipper all over the ping pong balls. I'll dry it with my heat tool, move it around until I get the whole thing painted. So there they are, all painted. I'm gonna use my tin snips, which I did get on Amazon. And I'm gonna just kind of, not, I'm not that strong, so I'm just gonna keep moving it around until I break through that thing. It's not that hard though. I'm going to use this little pokey tool and very slowly and carefully, it sped up a teeny bit. Anyway, I'm going to start making a hole and I'm going to push it all the way through that to the wider part of the little pokey tool so that I have a nice hole that I can stick the wreath brass piece into. And then I'm going to figure out where I want to put the second hole because this is how I'm going to string these on. They're going to look like very large wooden beads when I'm done. Now, I should have done this before I painted because you can see the paint starts kind of chipping when you move it around. So just a little note, if you want to do this, don't paint until you're all done. I did do some touch-ups afterwards to fix it. So there they are all strung on the brass ring. I'm going to take my Krylon matte finish and clear and go outside and just going to spray the whole thing back in front. And I'm going to take this mop head from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to pull out a couple strands. I'm going to make a hanger first by just attaching the end onto the ring. And then I'll make the loop. And then I will start wrapping this strand of mop head around that remaining brass hoop. And the reason I'm doing that is I need a place to stick my flowers. And they just don't stay really well to the metal. See, so yeah, I'm making the loop. I'm going to hot glue this down. And then I'm going to just start wrapping around and around until I get to the end of where I have the exposed ring. So there you see, it's all done and now I've got a hanger. I'm going to pull off those roses right off of the stems and then I'm going to pull off the greenery. I like to do that because I don't want those big stems, especially on a wreath like this. And I'm going to take my little nippers and I'm going to cut off the little pieces on the back that stick out so I can lay it flat with hot glue and attach it right to the mop head. And here you can see I'm doing that with the rose. And then I'll just hot glue that right to the center of the greenery. This is so easy. And the hardest thing was just dealing with the ping pong balls, but I'll tell you, if you take it slow and you're gentle, it's not too bad. Now I'm gonna finish the rest of that side of the wreath and look at that. I think this came out beautiful, super easy. You could add any kind of flowers you want. You could paint the ping pong balls any color. You have to let me know what you think of this one. Dollar Tree toy hack. I'm going to use some more ping pong balls. I've got these really cute paper hearts. I got these at Ikea. It was a garland. I already took the string out and they're sewn together. It's like two hearts cut out and they're sewn together in the middle. So you could make this very easily and then a little hole punched in them. And there's two shades. There's like a burgundy and a red. And then I've ordered these fairy lights on Amazon. They're my favorite and they're also they're always in my Amazon store. So I'm just going to unpack one of them. And I'm going to show you how easy this is. You unravel them. They're so good to go. They come with batteries and everything. And so look, you pull out this little plastic tab at the top and then you just turn it on and that's it. They're done. They're ready to go. That's why I buy them because it's such a good deal and it's so convenient. I'm going to take my little pokey tool and I'm going to be very carefully making a hole inside of my ping pong ball. I only need to make one hole for this. Now, I, I left this in here because you see the dent that this created. That's how easy it is to create a dent in a ping pong ball. What I did was I stuck my pokey tool in and the rounded side, I just kind of rubbed it against the side there and it just popped right back out. So just a way to fix it if that happens to you. I'm going to take the fairy lights and I'm going to start with one of the hearts. I'm going to alternate between the darker red and the lighter red. I'm going to push it to where I want it to go. So once I have it in position, I'll just leave it there. And then I'm going to go to the next little light. I'm going to fold it tight and I'm going to po poke it right into the ping pong ball and then flatten it out so that it stays in there. Then I'll put the next heart, like I said, alternating between the two shades of the red. And then I'll go to the very next little light, fold it in half so that it's got a little pointy end. Make a hole in the next ping pong ball carefully. <laughs> 
And then I'm just going to poke that right in there. I wanted to show you this a couple times and then I flatten it out and I will just continue to do this alternating between the paper hearts and the ping pong balls, which are going to look like little um, lights when we're all done. And then, or beads, beads and lights, I guess I would say. This is the last one I'm going to show you. And then I would just continue working on this all the way till I have the entire thing filled up. Here you go. And I just used as many ping pong balls as hearts as I needed to get towards the end of the fairy lights. And now I'm just going to bend open each of those hearts, you know, where because there's two pieces together and I wanted to give it that three dimensional look. So I'll just go through the entire garland and take care of that. And there it is. I absolutely love this one. It was very easy. There it is with the lights on. And I think it's so cute. I mean, you could make this even longer by attaching two strands of fairy lights. It would be very easy to do. Let me know if you would try this one. Dollar Tree toy hack. I've got these dice. They're foam dice and they're squared off at the corners. And then I've got this beautiful heart ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And then I've got my lacquer color chalk paint, my ballet slipper color chalk paint, and I'm going to use some white chalk paint as well. We're going to only use three of these blocks. Now I've got to show you this. This is a very interesting thing. So I started off with the red or the lacquer and it just didn't cover. You can still see the black coming through. So I thought, okay, I'll do another coat. So I did a second coat just on that couple of them and it still didn't cover. So I thought I'd try some red acrylic paint over the top. Now that helped a little. What I ended up doing was alternating between the chalk paint and the acrylic paint until it finally covered pretty well. So that's what I did. Now I have a solution for this going forward and here it is. Because they're black, these little dots, I'm gonna use my ink chalk paint. I'm gonna paint the entire dice with the black and then put the color over it and that gets rid of the dots completely. So now I'm doing the ballet slipper over this one. And then I will take the next one and do the white chalk paint. And it really works. And I'm just, I wish I had done it with the first one because it took so long drying it between coats. But anyway, they're all done. Look how good they look now. I'm going to put Mod Podge over all three of them on all sides. Now I'm going to figure out what I want to put on it. I'm going to say on there, I love you. I'm just going to do it in cursive. The younger generation will have no idea what I just wrote. I'm just kidding, but it's always a joke that they don't do cursive anymore. What the heck? Why? I love cursive. Anyway, so I did it in pencil first, and now I'm going to take a thick marker, and I'm just going to go over it. And you know what? I wasn't trying to be perfect. It's just cute, whimsical. It could go on a tear tray, and I thought this would be so adorable. I'm going to use that ribbon and just cut off enough to go around it. And then what I'm going to do is glue the blocks together. So just the way the words would be. I almost messed up there. Anyway, there you go. So the love you on the bottom and the I on the top. And then I'm just going to glue the whole set right to the middle of that ribbon so it stays in place. Now I'm going to bring up one side and hot glue it to the top and then I'll snip off the excess. And I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other side so it's completely wrapped around. Now I'm going to take this beautiful ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I just love the texture of it. I'm going to cut two pieces the same size and we're going to use this as part of a ribbon. I'm also going to take the original ribbon and make an awareness bow type ribbon. I just tacked the middle down with some hot glue and dovetailed the ends and then I'm going to put it in the middle of the other two that are crisscrossed and I'm going to cinch the middle and tie it off with some twine and it just makes such a pretty ribbon and it looks really nice with the colors and everything on this particular project. I'm going to hot glue it right to the center. And then I'm just going to add this cute little sparkly pink heart right to the center. It was a little large. I wish it was a little smaller, but I still think it's cute. I love this one. It was so easy and you could put anything you want on it word wise or pictures or stickers, whatever you want. It's so versatile. Let me know what you think. This Dollar Tree toy hack, I've got another set of foam dice. These are rounded on the edges and a little larger. And I've got these little sticker conversation hearts and my Rust-Oleum chalked linen white paint. I'm going to take the paint and I'm just going to go over one. I only need one of the dice for this one. And I just want to show you what happens when you do that. You definitely need a second coat. It's just not quite a perfect coverage. So I'm just going to go around the four sides there. And that way I can hold it in the middle of the other sides. I'm going to dry it with my heat tool. 
So there it is with everything painted and now I will work on the second coat. And that seems to do it. That's just perfect. Two coats for this one. It just works really well. So there it is. I'm going to cover the whole thing in my Mod Podge. I love that look. It just gives it, you know, that nice glossy look. Now I'm going to take the conversation hearts. I sorted them into colors and what they say. So I'm going to try to distribute them so that they're not all the same colors on the same side type of thing. I'm just going to start putting some of the pink ones on. And honestly, this is something you could do any way you want. This is just kind of my little system. I don't know. I always seem to have to have a system. So <laughs> that's why I'm doing it. Let me know if you're like that. Do you have to have things in a certain order? Or, I don't know. Is that OCD or is that just being a little bit anal. I don't know. I think I am definitely on the anal side. I don't know if I have OCD. I don't think I do, but I do like things a certain way. Maybe I'm just orderly. Let me know if you're like that too. I know I can't be the only person. I just know it. I definitely can't wait to hear what you say about this. So I'm just going to continue to add the little hearts as I see fit. And again, I'm trying to distribute the words and everything so they're not all on the same side. I had a couple of big gaps, so I added these cute little sparkly hearts. They did need to be glued down, so I used some Aileen's Tacky Glue. And I didn't have to put them all over. I didn't mind some white space, but there was a couple sides that had too much. And that's it. This was easy. It's barely a DIY, but it would look so cute on a tear tray. Let me know what you think. I have really enjoyed your company, so click on this video on the screen so we can spend some more time together. You are truly a blessing to me. Bye.